Question number 18. <clears throat> the diagram shows a cuboid. All the measurements are in centimeters. The total surface area of the cuboid is 172 centimeters squared. So the length is 2x plus 3. The width is 2x minus 1. The height is x plus 2. So that's equals to the length. That's the length. That's equals to the width. <coughs> and that's equals to the height. Fine. And the total of the total surface area. Total surface area, you work out the six sides. Of, if I just color one of them, that's the, let's call that the front. Mm -hmm. So we find the area of the front. We find the area of the top. And then we find the area of the site. So there are six sites or six faces of this cube, of a cube, of this mm -hmm. cuboid. So the front, mm -hmm. top, and site. And we have to double them because there's a top and there's the bottom. Yeah. There's the right side and there's the left side. And there's the front and there's the back. So yeah. for the front, is length times width. So it's 2x plus 3 times x plus 2. And you double it because you times by 2 because there's two of them. And then you go the same for the next one. You times by 2. You times by 2. 2x two yeah. plus 3 times 2x minus 1. 2x plus 3 times 2x minus 1. It gives you the, the bottom. And you times by 2 for the top. And then for the sides, you get x plus 2 times 2x minus 1. You get the site and you times by 2 because there are two sites. Now that you put them together, now all you do now is expand. Expand means remove brackets. Mm -hmm. Expand means remove brackets. So when you expand, you will do two, you, you can do the double brackets first. You do 1, 2, 1, 2, one, two, one, <laughs> one, one, two. So you expand all of that and then you will get, you get these functions there, expressions. And then you will double each one. You times each one by two, multiply 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 by two. And then you will get, all of this one. Now you collect the like terms. Like terms, the ones which are the same, 4x squared plus 8x squared plus 4x squared. You put all the one with x squared together. And then you put all the one with x together, 14x plus 8x plus 6x. And then you put the numbers together, the minus the 12 minus 4, 172. You bring them all together and you will get this expression here, this quadratic. Mm -hmm. So at this point now, you have this quadratic. And you factorize the quadratic, put it in two brackets. And this you, you learn, you just go through the factorization process to factorize the quadratic. And you get your two answers. You leave your answers as fractions. Because this is paper one, you factorize the quadratics by using the method of factorizing quadratics. Oh, you can have a lesson with me. I'll show you how to factorize that type of quadratics. But that's how you do that question. And that yeah. will give you a total of, it's for three, is it three marks? Yeah. It's for three marks. So it's, it's a question which, it's a lot of algebra for three marks. I think you have to be very good and work fast to get these three marks yeah. for this question. So that's how we do that type of question.